Today's Bible study is titled Prophetic Times and the Seasons. In 1 Thessalonians 4, Paul has just taught something never before revealed to man, part of the, the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God. Ephesians 3 verse 9 Now, in 1 Thessalonians 5, we see Paul shifting gears and speaking of a different event, one according to prophecy rather than mystery, something that most Bible students miss. Let's take a look at 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 1 to 5 and prophecies assorted therewith. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 1 to 5. Let's dig in and see what Paul is addressing here. Paul begins verse 1 with a conjunction which links the content of chapter 4 with chapter 5. And then Paul notes that the Thessalonian believers, and us, have no need that Paul instruct them of the times and the seasons. And the reason is that Paul has begun to speak of things associated with God's prophetic program for Israel. Daniel, speaking prophetically, says, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God for ever and ever, for wisdom and might are his, and he changeth the times and the seasons, he removeth kings, and setteth up kings, he giveth wisdom unto the wise, Daniel 2 verses 20 to 21. The Lord Jesus Christ, prior to his ascension likewise spoke prophetically of Israel's of the eleventh inquiry of the coming kingdom, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons, which the Father hath put in his own power. Acts 1 verse 7. Thus, when Paul continues, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 2. This is likewise addressing prophetic events concerning Israel. The day of the Lord is likewise addressed in prophecy, alas for the day. For the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. Joel 1 verse 15, And this day has nothing to do with the church which is his body or the mystery-based catching away that Paul just spoke of in 1 Thessalonians 4. Thus, since Paul is now speaking of prophetic events related to Israel, after the fullness of the Gentiles be come in, Romans 11 25 b, the mystery dispensation of the grace of God, Ephesians 3 verses 2 to 3, has ended with the rapture, and God has resumed his prophetic dealings with Israel, the Thessalonian believers, and us, have no need for further instruction regarding the times and the seasons, and the day of the Lord, as these did not pertain to the Thessalonians nor believers, today. For further confirmation of this, Paul continues, for when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, regarding Israel, and, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day, we are not of the night, nor of darkness, concerning the church which is his body. This is a clear description of the things that differ between the anticipations of the prophetic Israel, destruction and travail in the great tribulation, and those of the ye, the mystery body of Christ, a heavenly body, having nothing to do with Israel's earthly prophecies and covenants. Believer, understand the things that differ between the expectations of prophetic slash earthly Israel and the mystery slash heavenly body of Christ. Rightly divide between prophecy and mystery and your Bible will make sense. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.